Thank you. Very nervous about the top. <laughs> See, they know. The audience knew. I told the wardrobe girls, I said, the audience is going to know what the heck is she trying to prove? <laughs> trying to prove the kids will never go hungry. What? <laughs> Don, we have on matching glasses. <laughs> you know what? That'd probably be a lot more comfortable if we switched shirts. I was going to say that's why I wore glasses today. Oh, Are those 3D? Because you're getting your money's worth, I'll tell you that. Oh. Hey! I thought you were looking like a rose when you came out, Bonnie. Oh, then, Nick, thank you very much. <laughs> it's very sweet. All right, this is ridiculous. No, no, it's not. I'm a woman, and I should be proud of my body. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I do oh, look at it. One of the moms in the audience just yelled out, you need a dickie. She's learning from my mother. <laughs> thank you. You think it's okay? You think it's okay? Yes. <laughs> uh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> How could you be a girl for so long and not be used to it? Oh, I guess it's like something you grow up with. You know, I wore uniforms for the first how many years of your life when sure. you go to Catholic school? So it's not like you're really picking out an outfit or worried about it. Right. You know, the biggest thing decision I made was knee-high socks or anklet. <laughs> <laughs> Until this day, it is still the biggest fashion decision I made. I'm two years old. Now, okay. I told a story in the show how I brought Fred home for a half an hour from the rescue thing. See how he would do with Charlie? Well, Charlie had no interest in him, and I have a five-foot friend that Fred leaped right over and took off down the street, and we were chasing him in our pajamas. Fred, you were so Fred. fun! <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. I wish Charlie <laughs> loved him too because Fred's so cute. He's so adorable. So how I know many dogs? I, I really? Can't stand it. I, I want this dog so badly because he's, <laughs> he's got such a personality, you guys. I mean, it was so funny when I was chasing him down the street. He would stop and slow down and wait till I got a foot next to him. And he's like, bang! <laughs> you little rascal! So, you know, Fred's trying to escape. They're not listening Fred? to him. Fred's like ready. Fred, you Fred. can do it. Fred, you can. You can scare. Fred, you know it, pal. You and, did it at my house. And that's the type of dog to do it, like you said. Oh, it's just so... Look at him. He's, like, trying to figure it out. Like, I unscrew this. And he's, I know. Oh, oh, my gosh. I love totally. that dog. He that's is a, the breed. He is so funny. That's in the breed, too. And, and if you're... See, a mutt, a mutt like this, you know, for lack of a better term, these are... This is, like, three different dogs, and you get the best of every one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It kind of mellows out, you know, the, any, any, any true working tendencies. Where, oh! Take Dovey. Here, I'll you want Thanks, to Tom. Thank you. Yeah, I just, crazy. I think Fred, Fred just can't take it. Oh, part. Trixie's looking to get out too. You guys, let's maybe we. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Maybe Fred right, come here, Fred. Around. Come here, little football. Say all hi right. to everybody. Trixie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you escape. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh, hi, Papa. And again. Okay. You know, it, it's really important with this dog. Super smart. Figures out right away how to get out. Well, when, when, when Fred took off from my house and I went back, Kate, who runs used pets, said to me, oh, he would have found his way back here. He's brilliant. <laughs> okay, who 